What's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about one of my Safari Land 6354DOs. This is my kind of main squeeze holster for anything going on a battle belt. Now this guy uh, has made quite the wave on the channel because it's been in a few videos that kind of blew up and went places I didn't think they were going to go. So thank you guys for that. Thank you for watching that video. Uh, wasn't my best video, I'm, I'll admit that right now, but always trying to get better. So today we're gonna be talking about two upgrades you can do to the Safari Land 6354DO or just about any other Safari Land I think that they make these parts for, obviously. But these parts will work on a lot of Safari Land. So jump right into it, talk about the nub mod along with the Ghost Men Designs portal. All right, so the two things other than the holster wrap done by Spectre Mods, go check them out on Instagram. I'll leave a link down to his Instagram page down below if you want a extra spicy cool guy wrap on your holster. Uh, he wraps just about anything. But getting right into it, I did the nub mod and the Ghostman Designs portal on this holster. Now, I do keep a stock Safari Land 6354DO just so I can kind of stay proficient on the stock holster as well, along with my 6390 RDS, which you guys know is not my favorite holster. That video, uh, topic for another discussion, might not be the best video, but really don't like the 6390, just personal uh, kind of thing. The Nub Mod, really, really like it. I would recommend if you guys are considering doing this to kind of feel out the stock holster before you do it. Uh, I ran this completely stock without it for months and months and months and months. Never had a problem with the button, but figured I'd buy this guy, give it a try, and let you guys know my opinions on it. Really like it, takes some getting used to. It does change the angle of the button a little bit, so you're gonna have to get used to that, but it does give you a much larger surface area. So if you're using this a lot and you notice on the bottom of your thumb that the plastic button on the Safari Land itself is kind of digging into your hand, making it a little uncomfortable, definitely look into this guy. Super cheap, super nice upgrade. Do keep in mind though, these are specific to the holster and what side draw you have. I messed up, got a right-handed one, need a left-handed one, didn't think they made them uh, side specific, but they do, so just be aware of that. Another thing, I would recommend putting a little blue Loctite on this screw just because you don't want this thing to fall apart and eject off your holster at the range. Moving on from there, I did the Ghostman Designs Portal. Seriously, this was something that you would have never thought of until it happened to you and you're like, ah, oh, why doesn't someone make something so that brass doesn't fall in here and keep me from reholstering. Well, they thought of it and they killed it with this. Super easy install. All you gotta do, remove this screw, pop the barrel plug out, pop the plastic solid Safari Land uh, light plug out and then pop theirs in, pop the barrel plug back in, put this guy back in. Super easy, took about 10 minutes total to put on the nub mod in the portal. I think they have these things for between 20 and $40 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, super cheap upgrade, really worth it. They do have a bunch of different colors in these. So if you don't like black, they, I think they have tan, green, and they do kind of special runs and weird wacky colors every once in a while. So keep an eye out on them. I'll leave a link down to their uh, Instagram and their website down below. That's actually where I got this, obviously, and the nub mod all in one go. So super easy, super convenient, super cheap upgrades, really makes these Safari Land series holsters just that much better. Uh, like I said before, wrap spectrum mods on instagram check him out really cool guy really really nice work done by him so if you have any questions comments as always leave them down below i'd be happy to answer them and if you made it to the end thank you so much guys for watching really appreciate every single one of you without you guys i wouldn't be here wouldn't be doing this so anything else you want to see leave it down below i want to make this channel for you with all that being said thank you guys for watching